All right, how's it going? Training with Peter. Um, we're here at a rock. Um, we just got through sort of mountain bike provincials and stuff uh, here in Ontario, and we had a couple of really challenging rock and log obstacles that were giving folks trouble. So a couple of requests to just go over what is the basic technique, how, how are you supposed to do it? Um, so first thing is, let's just accept like we're, the goal is not to rub that chain ring into that rock. So this rock's not, you know, super bad, but there is a bit of an opportunity depending, you know, which which chain ring you have to hit it here. So we just want to be really careful to protect that equipment. So the main idea here whenever we have something like this is to try and skip that part where our chain ring hits. So what you'll see the faster folks doing um, is jumping up and then as they're here they'll sort of just do a little scooch. They'll be nice and forward on the bike and then scooching the bike forward a bit to sort of skip that chain ring and get that rear wheel at least onto the top of the lot. All right, so it's not it's not a huge movement. You're just coming. You can basically roll up onto it, and then just a little scooch, moving the bike forward, um, so that we skip that that chain ring and protect it, and you know keep those chain rings running for a long time. So I'll give you a quick demo of that, um, and just to see how it looks. Alrighty, so that's the basic idea. Um, it's just that front wheel on, and then all we're doing is just pushing, pushing that bike forward. And a lot of people really find just that push once we get that front wheel on top of the obstacle um, as the key. Uh, remember that you don't need to get that front wheel onto the ground. We're putting it on top of the rock. So give that a try. Um, small logs to start, uh, nice and slow to start, and uh, I think that should should help you protect those chain rings.